All right, it seems that uh, the Delhi Dangal and the drama that has been witnessed in the assembly, that even continues today as the Delhi BJP seems to be protesting and uh, they have been holding protest. I've seen the power tussle that seems to be ongoing between the Delhi Lieutenant Governor and the Aam Admi Party that has been also visible on the floor of the house. This is yet another protest, it seems, regarding clean water that the BJP seems to be holding the protest uh, for the second day when the assembly session will be starting. So this was uh, the leader of our opposition in uh, the Delhi Assembly, uh, Ramir Singh Vidori, as uh, he has also clearly mentioned that uh, uh, the BJP MLAs are today going to raise the matter of the rising pollution in Yamuna as uh, they are seeking a reply on the part of the Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and they are also holding a bottle of the polluted water and we have also been joined by the uh, BJP MLA from Lakshmi Nagar, Abhay Verma. Sir, bottle hai, play card hai. Kya aapko umeed hai ki aaj aap logo ko discussion ka mauka milega? Dekhiye, hume bhi dil की जनता चुन के भेजी है और हम भी एक बट्टा सत्तर हिस्से के दावेदार हैं पिछले तीन साल से लगातार हम लोग दिल्ली के लोगों की मुद्दा उठाते रहे हैं परमिशन नहीं देना और देना ये अध्यक्ष जी का अधिकार है अध्यक्ष जी अगर नहीं देंगे परमिशन तो ये उन्ना जैसे महत्वपूर्ण मुद्दे पे बात कराना नहीं चाहते मैं तो सिर्फ ये जानना चाहता हूँ कि आज आठ साल में यमुना इतनी गंदी क्यों हो गई दुख Stating that eight years ago, Yamuna ka production hua, dugna Kejriwal, sharam karo, sharam karo. Earlier also we have seen that the BJP MLAs had protested raising the matter of the corruption charges which are being leveled against the Ahmadi Party government. On the other hand, on the very first day of the Delhi Assembly session, they had raised the matter of the rising air pollution in the national capital. But all of these MLAs were being marshaled out, and that was the reason why they also held a protest in the premises of the of Vidhan Sabha. But today also they are. Saying that if they will not be allowed to hold any kind of discussion on this entire matter, they are going to do a dharna outside uh, the CM office. So it is going to be interesting to see how this uh, third day of Delhi Assembly session is going to be turned out. The protest against the Aam Aadmi Party continues even today, but even as the latest flashpoint over the teachers' training program in Finland is concerned, that continues to rage on between the Delhi Lieutenant Governor and the Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Where the matter seems to be escalating by the day, even in the assembly yesterday, Arvind Kejriwal literally questioned the authority of the Lieutenant Governor V K Saxena, accusing him of having a feudal mindset, which he said comes in the way every time, especially when it comes to Delhi children getting access to a better education that the LG does not want to happen. And when it comes to the chief minister, has said nothing in the world is permanent, and that the Aam Aadmi Party might come in power sooner or later. And amid a power tussle with the ongoing Delhi Lieutenant Governor and the Aam Aadmi Party, he seems to be reminding the governor of his constitutional post and so much power that he has to exercise. वो क्या कहते हैं पराये घर में अब्दुल्ला दीवाना ये एलजी कौन हो गया? हैं? बेगानी शादी में अब्दुल्ला दीवाना ये एलजी कहाँ से आ गया? कौन है एलजी? कहाँ से आ गया एलजी? किस बात का एलजी? कौन एलजी? कौन लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर? हमारे सर पे बैठ गया क्या लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर? अब वो तय करेंगे कि हम अपने बच्चों को कहाँ पढ़ाएंगे? ऐसी सामंतवादी सोच के लोगों ने आज हमारे देश को पीछे छोड़ा हुआ but even when it comes to Arvind Kejriwal's outburst against Delhi Lieutenant Governor has triggered another war of words with several BJP leaders that have tweeted slamming Kejriwal's language and the content of his argument. Some even praising that the LG has been tolerating or what they call as an anarchist behavior of the Chief Minister. But not to be left behind, many of the Aam Aadmi Party leaders have also jumped in Kejriwal's defense. And they too are quoting what Kejriwal's words have been on the floor of the house to the effect that who is LG, where has he come from and what are his powers. Again, this is not going unchallenged. We have also many of those people who have been coming out and saying that Kejriwal should rather read up the constitution to learn about the powers and the constitutional posts that the LG holds, while others as well, when it comes to BJP leaders, have been reminding Arvind Kejriwal that it is the LG who had sworn him into the CM's office and that too also on three occasions. Let's tell you about uh, what's happening in the Supreme Court as well with the SC constitution bench resuming the hearing of the turf of war happening between the Delhi government and the LG as to who has more control over the the services, the transfer and the posting of bureaucrats. We have Harish with us right now because the arguments over the dispute, over the control, over the services, that has been happening over the five judges Supreme Court bench. Harish, what are the details so far?
Yes, sir, that's right, Amita. Uh, after four days of hearing, just uh, before the Supreme Court was to, uh, in fact, reserve the judgment on the dispute as to who holds the power authority over services, the transfer and postings, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta has said that 2018 judgment, 2019 judgment of the Supreme Court, wherein a split verdict was uh, delivered, should be referred to a larger bench because uh, uh, going by the tone and tenor of the hearing, uh, it is uh, the the Solicitor General, the center has some apprehensions that some relief will be given to the Kejriwal government. At this juncture, okay. Solicitor General Tushar Mehta has said that to, to prevent an anarchy-like situation in, this, in the, in the Delhi, Absolutely, uh, national capital... Absolutely, the Solicitor General said that Delhi cannot be handed over to an anarchy and that kind of ruling there that is being challenged by the Kejriwal government. Harish, thank you. We'll be back after a short break.